Welcome back everybody to the Crypto Ellis channel. In today's video I'm going to bring you some big Chain Games news. Also we're going to be having some live gameplay of the Chain Games game that is now available to download and I'm going to give you an actual demonstration in this video how to download it step by step for Windows and we're also going to be talking about the trust swap price because a lot of people have been commenting in the comment section saying the price is going down the price is going down why is the price going down so I'll discuss that in today's video so before we go any further don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified every time I upload to the channel I'm not financial advisor so please always do your own research so trust swap today is at 82 cents down 0.1% on the day 24 hour trading volume is 4.2 million market cap is 53.4 million and then the rank over on coin gecko is 175th so why has trust swap gone all the way down to 82 cents i did say it was going to go below the one dollar mark when it was just above one dollar and i did say it would probably go to around 90 to 80 cents and then this is where we are today so the reason i believe it went down First reason is the market went down, so trust what went down with the market. Second reason is a lot of people didn't like how the pre-sale was run, so a lot of people sold their trust swap because of how the pre-sale was run. The third reason is a lot of people saw that you only need 1,000 trust swap tokens now for the upcoming chain games airdrop. So people are thinking now that that's how it's going to be going forward, but we don't know how it's going to be going forward. We don't know if you're going to need more trust swap or if you're going to need less trust swap. As you can see right here, it's trying to make a bit of a comeback. Trust swap does have a lot of things coming up in the short term future so within the next couple of weeks we've got the main net coming out we've got a big decentralized finance partnership getting announced jeff is doing a conference as well over in asia like he's doing it from his house he's filmed it and then it's getting put out over in asia the asian marketing push has started as well so i don't believe in my personal opinion that trust swap is going to stay at this price for much longer but of course the market right now is very volatile um, it's been going down quite a lot. It's trying to make a comeback, but it's still in the red quite a lot. So that will definitely affect trust swap. So I'm not a financial advisor, guys. So please always do your own research. I only ever bring cryptocurrencies to your attention that I believe can make you some money and that I do really enjoy making videos on. And I do really like the project. If they go down, it's not my fault. If they go up, it's not my fault. I am not responsible for you guys investing in these different cryptocurrencies. Obviously, I don't want you to lose money. So if you have got your cryptocurrencies on exchanges, always put those stop losses on. Another reason why TrustSwap may have gone down is because people may have moved their money from TrustSwap over into Chain Games, hoping that Chain Games will do what TrustSwap did. And I do believe Chain Games can do that long term, but that could be another reason. You've also got to remember with TrustSwap now with the future pre-sales, the more um, TrustSwap that you have, is not going to affect now how you get into pre-sales so while it never affected that but what i'm trying to say is the longer you've hold your trust swap for the better chance you've got of getting into a pre-sale so if you've held your trust swap for two months now up against somebody that's held it for one week you've got a better chance of getting into pre-sale than that guy um yeah let's just get into chain games now guys because i think that's enough on trust swap those were the reasons why trust swap has gone down in my personal opinion always do your own research so chain games right now is at four and a half cents down 7.9 percent on the day 24 hour trading volume is 2.2 million and the market cap is 13.2 million rank number 345th over on coin gecko why is chain games gone down another reason for chain games going down is the market again and also a reason is people may have sold off from their pre-sale tokens or their ilo tokens if they got in early enough that could be a reason but again it's the same with chain games it's the same with trust what they've got a lot of stuff coming up in the near to long term future so i really do believe that these prices can't hold at these levels for that much longer but i'm not a financial advisor so please always do your own research but of course if the market doesn't go up very very soon then chain games trust what might go down with the market or might stay stable with the market so you never know what's gonna happen the cryptocurrency market is very very volatile so let's get into the big chain games news so this is one of them right here so chain games has now been listed on a new cryptocurrency exchange not even 24 hours in and they've already been listed on this cryptocurrency exchange right here so bill axi exchange and bill axi exchange currently has 207 million dollars in 24 hour trading volume so it's a really good cryptocurrency exchange for chain games to get their first listing on also as you can see right here we've got a dev update so the betting contract is live on the testnet and we are testing corners case scenarios 
So basically their goal is to get this ready and available to the public by next Friday. They already have the test net all set up and free tokens to try out and bet with them on the test net. If everything goes according to plan, we'll push the contract out to the main net the following week and open up the betting and everyone can come onto the game and start betting and having these different competitions and winning cryptocurrencies. So this is looking really, really good. And always remember, it's not just their own games that they can implement this into. They can implement this into bigger games like this guy right here is saying Rocket League, Modern Warfare, any of these big games, they can implement this wagering system into those games. Okay, let's get into the Chain Games gameplay. I'm going to show you the gameplay and how to download it step by step. Let's get into that right now. Okay, guys, so we're over on the Chain Games website, and I've got my controller right here plugged into my PC. And how you download it is you click on whichever one you want. I've clicked on Windows, I've clicked Download, and it'll download down here. And once it's downloaded, you click on it. It might say this for you just because it's not an app that Windows recognizes. So all you got to do is click more info, run anyway, and then it'll start running. Press yes. And then you'll go to this screen right here. Next. Read all of this, but I've already done it on a previous um, time. So I'm just doing it this time for the video. Click install. And then you just got to wait for it to install. And then once it's installed, you can literally just start playing the game straight away. If you are on Windows, you do need to download this if you get this error message right here. So you might get this error message and you've got to download this. This is over on the Chain Games Twitter. If you can't find it on the Chain Games Twitter, just go over into their Telegram and ask them about this right here. And then you should be able to get into the game straight away. Because I did that the first time around, I installed it like this, it wasn't working, and it asked me to install this over here. Also, it might say this to you, just press yes. And then finish. And then find it wherever it is, so it should be down over here for me. And this is the game right here, guys. So the online isn't working yet, because they are getting that available. The single player is working right now. And then if you want your options, go over here and make sure your graphics are on the highest settings possible. Because then that is the best settings that you'll get and you'll be able to see the cards are much easier. And then you've got your players down here. That's me right there, Jack. And then you can change your cat curls, all this kind of stuff down here. Controls, if you want to change your controls. As you can see right here, I've got the Xbox One controller for Windows. You can add the device or you can change it. And then general is connected to internet, all that kind of stuff. And if we go back... We'll press single player. You've got the different choices of the carts right here. So we've got John McAfee there. We've got Litecoin here. So there's loads of different cards that you can use. And then Ethereum, Bitcoin, Binance. Obviously, these are replicas of these different owners of these different cryptocurrencies or founders of these cryptocurrencies. This game doesn't have like the actual license to fully say that these are the different founders, but they look exactly like them. But you know what I mean? Just because of legal reasons, we'll say that they're not the founders, but these are the founders. And then we, nobody knows who the Bitcoin founder is. So let's just go for Bitcoin. Novice, intermediate or expert. We'll go novice. Then you can set a game mode. We'll just go for this one right here. And then these are the different tracks that you can use right now. And then you can do a Grand Prix as well if you want. Let's quickly go for this track right here. How many laps? How many carts? Drive in reverse if you want. Start race. We'll just leave it on this small screen here, guys, just so you can see what's going on. And then this is how the game looks. So obviously I put on the easiest one just for the purpose of this video. And as you can see right here, the game looks fairly, fairly decent. Why I say fairly decent is because it's a... It's like a Mario Kart style game, so the graphics aren't going to be like, let's say, like a FIFA game or a Madden game where you can see exactly the sweat from the players and all that kind of stuff. It's meant to be like a karting kind of game, so like an old school kind of game for like, like a Nintendo or something, as you can see right here. And you can do different stuff. So we can do this, speed ourselves up. You can do that, pretend you're flying. And then they've got, obviously, they've got a load of different courses that you can do. So it's not just this one course. And you can take shortcuts on the game as well. And as you can see, on the side there, Bitcoin's leading. We've got 
uh, Digibuy or Dogecoin. Dogecoin was second, now it's third. And then we've got Ethereum there as well. So yeah, guys, this is the game right here. Obviously, graphics could be better. But again, like I said, it's like a Nintendo kind of game. And also going forward, they can integrate the wagering system into bigger games. And going forward, they are more than likely going to make more games. So it's not just going to be this one game. So we all saw how big CryptoKitties got. And CryptoKitties is still getting used today, guys. Um, imagine if this game could get as big as CryptoKitties. Then it'd be absolutely fantastic. But also, in the gaming world, you've got to adapt to everything that is coming out. Everything that's potentially coming out in the future. So I do believe if this company can continue to adapt and not just have this one game as their like own game then it will be absolutely fantastic for the token holders and the platform also they've got a few games lined up that the um other developers are wanting to put into their app store that they're going to have and also coming up as well in the future they're going to integrate their kind of stuff into bigger games so there's a lot of stuff to come for their platform guys you can go and have a look at their roadmap if you want to but yeah this is how the game is looking at the moment sorry guys it's kind of a bit boring just going around in the uh, circle and then if you want to take a shortcut, you can go up here. It's not a boring game, guys. It's just boring because I'm playing against the computer and I'm going around in a circle. But you can take shortcuts like this if you want to. But yeah, this is the game pretty much. And it's really as simple as this. And I can see how this can be very, very um, competitive in the cryptocurrency space if a lot of people start playing this. So like if a Bitcoin fan plays up against a Ethereum fan and they bet one Bitcoin on the game. I know one Bitcoin would be a big bet to bet, but if they did that, they can do that because it's a wagering game and then yeah i believe a lot of the fanboys will want to play each other in at these kind of games and this is the final lap right here we will just go off this right there and that's the final lap so this is how the game looks guys good graphics for the kind of game it is um it's working perfectly you saw there was no faults there and um, very easy to download i believe a lot of people in the crypto space will get into this and start playing this game so if you do want to play this game guys go over to game chains uh sorry chain games not game chains chain games and then you can download it over here guys thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think about the super crypto cards game down below in the video description let me know what you think of the trust what price and all the other things i mentioned in today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified every time i upload to the channel thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video